Hey, welcome back, everybody. Today we're at prep camp. We're doing some sutures classes. Um, today, Sarah's our guinea pig. She's got the banana taped to her legs, simulated cut on leg. Um, this is how we're going to do this, so stay tuned. Okay, so first thing I want to do is take my prep pads here. I'm going to clean my um, needle. And since I'm using dental floss, I'm going to come all the way down my dental floss. I'm going to make sure that that's cleaned real good. Everything's sterile. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to start cleaning my tool. And this type of situation, we're using a multi-tool on this. Because that's what most of us is going to have available. Unless we got a surgical kit. So, it's multi-tool all the way. We can do the scissors here. All right, I'm gonna we'll pause this and get things set up to start doing this suture. Okay, so the basics on a suture. Um, this is just gonna be a laceration here. Um, you're gonna have the banana is a good one because it's got like layers to it. Kind of represents like the fat layer on skin and the skin itself. Um, what we're going to do, the way you would do a suture, judge the distance of it. Um, go half, go right in the middle. Okay, so when we're doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to go about a couple millimeters back. We're just going to go through. You want to use these curved needles for this reason. Because what you're going to do is you're just going to go through that layer. And you're going to come right up through almost equal distance across and you're going to bring that through okay now you're going to leave a tail on the end a couple inches long there now this is what we call a instrumental tie so we're going to use a multi tool on this because this would be what most people would have readily available for them so what what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap that around your multi tool or your hemostats, whatever you got available, you're gonna do it two times, okay? Once and twice. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna grab my suture right there, not letting that slip. I'm gonna hang on to it. And I'm just gonna pull my, pull it through my loops there, okay? I'm going to pull it to one side. What we're making is a square knot. Now when you snug that up, you want it tight, but not so tight that it's wrinkling the skin. Okay, So you're going to do this you're, the next time. You're going to do this again, but you're going to do this one wrap around your instrument this time. We'll go one wrap. And I'm going to grab my tail again, and I'm going to pull it through. All I'm doing is pulling that tail up through my suture. When you do three or four of those on there, that's going to keep that from moving on you. Do it again. One time. Grab it. Okay, now, at that point there is when I would go ahead and leave a little bit, about a quarter of an inch, stick up off of those. Okay, now, what I would do at this point is I'm going to split the difference of the what's left here, and I'm going to do half again, okay? Now, after you tie the knot, always make sure it's pulled to one side. You don't want that directly over the cut. So now I'm going to go half again. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to go down. I'm just going to bring my needle right back around. Bring it out at an equal distance. I'll leave my tail. Two times. Actually, I'm getting a little short here. 
I will grab that tail. I will pull it through. Again, one time. Grab the tail. Pull it through. Always pull on one side. Again. Tail. Pull it through. One time. Tail. Pull it through. To one side it goes. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm short here. I'm gonna pause this, and then I'm gonna go again after I re rethread here. All right. So here we go again. Now I did that. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna do half. You can actually go in the line if you want, but I'll go back and forth with this. Go about equal distance. Pull it through. Leave your tail. Instrument wrap twice. I will say this, a pair of hemos would be great at this point. Probably be a lot easier to use than this. Two times, grab my tail, pull it up to one side, tighten it. One time. Grab my tail. I'm pulling the, I'm pulling the needle side of the slack down to the tail side. So one time, grab the tail. See this? The needle side is what will be pulled to the tighter of it. Okay. Now I'll do one more on each end. I'll pause this and I'll get back with you after I do those. So as you can see, we're stitched up here. Um, it did pull nice and tight. <laughs> it's kind of barbaric, especially with the you know multi tool there. But um, yeah, in a pinch, that's how you get it done. Um, um, there's a lot of different ways you can run stitches and stuff, but this is a basic suture right here. Um, you can do this to yourself. I'm just going to give you a warning that that hurts. Like, I'm not even going to say the word on here, but it hurts. I have done it and it does work. But this does make a nice, clean job. The uh, reason I use dental floss is um, it seems like, like if you have, if you don't have the original suture material, um, a lot of people like to tend to use needle and thread. I don't like needle and thread because you know that that's a cotton style or nylon or something like that and it's not going to um it'll it'll collect um germs bacteria and things like that especially if it gets wet so i use um just dental floss it's a wax coated you can uh, sterilize it easily and um, this is what you get now if you notice when i when i slap this um it may hurt the person that it's attached to Oh, I think we've killed her. <laughs> All right, guys. Sarah, did you survive it? <laughs> All right, guys. If you like our videos, like, share, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook. Mickey Wilson Bushcraft and Survival. Till the next one. That's it for this one.